Hello everyone, my name is Aya and I'm the technical engineer with Asian Scraft team. In today's video, we would like to show you to have built and installed Asian Scraft on your Mac OS environment. As I mentioned, this video uh, will be a tutorial uh, for specifically Mac OS. And if you're interested to clone or install AgentScraft on other operating systems, we have other videos on YouTube and our on YouTube channel. So you're more than welcome to check out that channel and uh, see our other videos. And also you can always reach out to us uh, if you have any question and we'll be more than happy to support you. To start, uh, the first step is to go to our GitHub page which as you can see in this link, it's GitHub, bit 9 OSS, and our repository is AgentScrap. So after going here, we should follow some steps that we have in this uh, repo. And uh, after that, you should be able to successfully install and start AgentScrap and start using it. So to get started, um, we have to start from the step one. And the first step here is to clone Agents Graph onto your local machine. So to do that, you can simply just copy and paste this get clone command. Or also you can go here and clone or download Agents Graph from here. So what I'm going to do, I'm just going to copy and paste this command. And I'm just going to open my terminal here. And you can give it any specific paths that you want. So for me, I'm just going to go to my GitHub, uh, to my desktop uh, path, and I'm just going to start cloning Agents Graph over there. So as you can see, it might take maybe a couple minutes, and I should clone it fast. There you go, and we have it. So uh, our next step here to install the necessary libraries and dependencies. And uh, you need to be careful in this step. You need to go find the specific operating system that you want. As I mentioned, uh, for this video, we are focusing on Mac OS. So uh, Mac OS users, uh, you need to have Xcode installed on your uh, system. If not, you can just uh, simply copy and paste this uh, to your terminal and you will have Xcode for your Mac. So I already have this, but uh, to just show you, you just copy and paste it here. And for me, it said that it's already installed, uh, but if you don't have it, uh, feel free to use this command. And I'm just gonna clear this to make it uh, more visible for you. Okay, our next step in uh, this tutorial is to configure the source tree in the agents graph path. So this is the path where you just cloned agents graph in it. So you just need to copy and paste this and you need to run this command in the agents graph uh, folder uh, where you clone it. So in this case, I have to go to the agents graph folder and I'm gonna paste the same command that we just copy and it's going to start uh, compiling and building it. So it might take a couple minutes, but uh, bear with me. And our next step here after uh, running, next, uh, running the step three, uh, will be build uh, and install uh, agents graph. So to do that, uh, I'm gonna show you uh, what to do. So we are done with the uh, um, configuration for the source tree. So as I mentioned, our next step is to build and install uh, agents graph. Now, uh, in this section, uh, you might see two make install command. One is make install and the other one is make install work. The only difference between these two command is that make install word uh, will install and build agents graph along with other uh, contribution and external modules. If you want to build agents graph alone, then you can just uh, run make install. This specific command, install word, will build agents graph, as I mentioned, along with the additional extensions such as Postgres extensions. 
so if you don't want those extension you can just run this or if you think you don't want it at this moment you might need it later you can just go by this and later you can just come back to uh, this get up copy and paste this command and you should be good to go and you're gonna have those commands so um, for this tutorial I'm just gonna do uh, make install so we go back to our terminal let me just clear it so you can see you can just simply run this command and it might take a couple minutes again and um, after that we're gonna come back for our next steps okay perfect uh, we got it uh, installed completely and successfully as you can see here so if you get this message here saying that PostgreSQL installation complete it means that you installed agents graph successfully and completely and you can move on to the next step so uh, the next step after the agents graph installation will be our uh, setting up our um, environment variables you have two options to do it uh, in this case you can run the script file that we have in uh, agents graph folder or you can add these two commands uh, to your uh, bash uh, profile file of your machine of your uh, mac os so uh, i'll show you how to do both so if we go back here in agents graph uh, environment and we clear you should be able to find this script here which will automatically uh, set up the environment variables for you so what you need to do you need to type dash ag environment.sh and by running this your environment variable should be already set up or another uh, basically way to setting up this environment uh, as I mentioned you can copy these two commands to your bash profile so let me show you quickly how to do it so uh, you can open up your uh, bash profile with any editor and you go to that file and uh, you add those two commands so as you can see I already have these two commands here so I just want to show you that these are the same two commands that it's on our github page so what happens here you need to uh, pay attention and you need to change the value of the paths that you have in these two commands both these variables needs to point out to the agents graph folder that you just cloned from our github page so in this case mine is set up to users aobadal agents graph and the other one as well it's pointing to users aobadal agents graph so again one more time you need to point out to the cloned folder uh, of agents graph and as you can see mine is set up but uh, if you go to our GitHub page here, you see that it's not set up. So make sure you change this, then you copy this to your Bash profile. And then you should be uh, good to go for the next step. So after uh, setting up this environment variable, uh, we have to go back to Agents Graph folder. So let me just close this. Uh, there you go. So we are here. Now our next step is to <coughs> excuse me, create the cluster that we wanted to use uh, for um, our databases and data so to create a cluster we can run the command in a db and then we can uh, make any cluster that you want so you can give any name that you want in this case let's call it uh, data cluster by running this agents graph will give you and prompt you a message it will say success you can now start the database server using this command so you can copy or retype this command and it will prompt you that server started so agents graph installed successfully completely we set up our environment variable and our server just started now let's try to maybe uh, go a little bit more further uh, let's create a database so to create a database in agents graph you can use the command called create db and you can give any database name that you want so in this case let's call it bit9 so create db bit9 there you go then if you want to go to your database and start working with it you have to use a command called agents and then the database name and there you go we are in our database next step what we can do we can create our graph here so we can use a command called create graph and we can give a name for any graph that we want. In this case, let's call it bit9graph. 
and if you hit run there you go our graph is created so if you see this it means that your graph is successfully created now uh, one day a one database or a database uh, can have multiple graph so each time you want to work with a specific graph what you need to do you need to set the graph path and point to that graph that you want to work with so in this case we can use this command graph path um, and uh, let's say we want to work with the bitnine graph because we just created it. so bitnine underscore graph and there you go it says that it's set so now we know that whatever we work in a graph environment we are in a bitnine graph and all the changes all the data creation will happen in this specific graph so don't forget to set the graph path and whatever graph that you wanted to use now uh, let's try to make maybe a vertex label so we create v label and we can call it anything that we want let's call it person semicolon and there you go we already uh, create a vertex label in this case so yeah thank you for watching uh, as you saw we are uh, installed agent scrap we clone it from our github we uh, install it and we compile it we basically set up our environment variables and uh, we start the agent scrap server we create our database graph set the graph path and also we just try the small um, basically command here create the label which created us a uh, label person so for the more information, for more uh, basic documentation on how to model graph, how to uh, maybe use uh, more data and agents graph, and uh, for all any information, you can easily go to our website, which is bit9.net. And you can go to our resources where you can find our documentation or also you can go to the learn page which we have more tutorials we have some sample data sets you can download and you can start working with them we have some videos as well here and uh, also uh, there are more videos on YouTube so please just go to our YouTube page and uh, search for a uh, different installation here if you go to the download page it's our binary package you can you can find uh, actually on, on YouTube more video regarding how to uh, install and start using our binary packages on different uh, environments as well and uh, also uh, you can go to other tabs uh, you can go here find out our use cases and I would highly recommend you to go to our blog check out some of the newest blog regarding agents graph graph modeling and um, information regarding databases and also please if you have any question uh, go to our contact page and uh, by going here you can just simply write anything for us if you have any question if you have any concern feedbacks for us we'll be more than happy to take that and you can send it to us and we'll get back to you as soon as possible again thank you for watching uh, hopefully you find this video helpful have a great day